Good morning guys. It is currently 10.30 a.m. I did just climb out of bed, go to the bathroom, and now I'm awake. But I can kind of feel like a migraine developing and I've been getting migraines a lot recently. In fact, I've been getting them like right before I get my period all the time, which is like TMI, but it's also like, it's my life, so like, whatever. But no, so that's hurting and I hope it does not speed up, but I was looking for my OJ there, hoping if I wear my glasses, it'll help, but I don't know. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit on the couch until I get more awake, maybe take some medicine for my head and then I'll get ready for the day. And then I want to decorate for Christmas today as much as I can. I can't get my Christmas tree down cause it's like up too high on a shelf. I'll show you later and I can't grab it. So I need Chad's help and he hasn't done it, but I can do my other Christmas stuff. So I want to get that set up. So yeah, let me wake up momentarily and then I'll be, I'll be back. Okay, I'm ready to begin doing shit. Finally, it's been like two hours. My headache has subsided, subdued, gone away. And I think I need to do some laundry. So we're gonna start there and I'll just get this going. Cause this is, you know, laundry is kind of like fun in the sense of like, it's like kind of doing two chores at once if you put the laundry in and then do something else. However, I am the worst at like folding laundry. So it'll be fine. Okay, so here's my section of Christmas goodies. And I think I'm just gonna take them out and look at them and see what I have. Okay, first up, little light up Christmas tree. Okay, here we have my Christmas tree decorations. So I have ribbons to tie those and then my topper, my tree topper. In here, I have Fat Santa, another tree. Oh, a tablecloth, awesome. And that might be it, I don't know. Okay, shit, so do I have... I have one box pretty much of Christmas supplies. Great, might need to buy more. So I'm trying to figure out if Fat Santa would be best up there or there. Shannon, where do you think we should put Fat Santa? She said right above her. Do we like it? Do we like it? Meow. I don't know if she likes Fat Santa. I'm not sure where we should put this Christmas tree. Maybe in the office with the plants? Um, yeah, it's like I'm growing a Christmas tree in my apartment, I guess now. I have, I think this is a tablecloth. Oh shit, or is this the go around a Christmas tree? No, it's a tablecloth. Okay, for this table, so I need to take everything off of this table to put this on. Oh my gosh, look at the bucket I got from the Wicked premiere. It's beautiful. Okay, next to set up, I have these stockings. I have mine. Oh shit, this one's mine from home. Okay, I gotta remember to bring this home for Christmas. Okay, anyways, back to my stockings. Mine, Salem's, and Chad's. So I'm gonna need to get these hung up. Do I have command hooks though? That's even the question. I guess let's go look. Okay, I don't have any hooks, but I just have like regular like 3M strips. And I'm thinking since we won't be here this year for Christmas, if I just hang them up with this and not stuff them, they'll be okay. And we're gonna put them up like on the very blank wall I have right here. Hopefully these stick to fabric. I have a feeling this isn't gonna work. Let's give it a try. Okay, it 
it's up. Is it gonna stay up? I don't know. Okay, let's get the next ones just both ready. Those are not up there super evenly, but it is okay. And finally mine. Can you hear my washing machine? Fuck, it's so loud. Okay, they're kind of like going up, but that's fine. There's not much I can do about it. Here they are, so cute. You love it, Shana? Do you love it, Fat Santa? I love it. I think I want the light up tree in my kitchen somewhere, but it needs to be by a plug-in. So I'm thinking like right here on this counter is probably the best spot for it. I'm just trying to like look and see where. Oh, that's cute on oh, my freaking. There is so much happening right there. So that will be, okay. So like when the overhead lights are off, it's like, ah, it's so cutesy. I think that's the best place for it. Let me do a quick look around. Yeah. I, I think that is the best place for it. Perfect. Hello, you guys. It's two days later. The Christmas tree is finally down, so we are gonna put it out. And also, good news on the stockings. I know we were questioning whether or not they would stay up, and it appears they have. So that's great news. I'm thinking of putting the Christmas tree in this corner. Usually, I would, I'm not smart. I usually put it right here. But now that's where the stockings live, so we gotta move where the Christmas tree goes. And I'm thinking it should go right here, in this corner. So we have to move some things. Special guest star Chud. Ooh. And that's all you'll see of him, where to start. So this Christmas tree is like a bunch of, like it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the stem and then each of like my things have like little metal things and like they're color coordinated and then like based off of where they're like color coordinated, they go in these slots and then it becomes a tree. And I think this is gonna take me a while, so I'm gonna time that sis. Okay, as you can see, the tree is now all set up, so it's time for the tree decorations. I bought these all last year, and also, I know my tree is scraggly. She's trying her best, please don't make fun of her. But this is what I have up first, is this topper. Oh, look how cute. And then I have a bunch of ribbon that I think last year I just made bows on like the tree. That. Okay, here's how I think I tied it. I don't really remember though. Is that cute? That's cuter, right? What do you think? So. so I'm just gonna do that a bunch, like all over this tree and then I'll show you the final reveal. Okay, I finished the tree. I think it looks so good. So of course, star on top, little, little bows everywhere. And then of course I have the ornaments Chad and I bought last year, peanut butter and jelly. We're gonna have to buy new ones this year or a new one, but. God, look how fucking bright it is with like the sun, but wow, it's Christmas time. I, maybe I'll try to make my own Christmas decoration with yarn I own. I've decided I have a lot of shit around my apartment that I can use to make my own Christmas decorations instead of going and buying more. So what I've started doing is making like these little bows and I think I'm either, I haven't decided yet if I'm just gonna have them be like regular bows. I have to cut these off still or turn them into like a garland. But here's what it looks like. It's so cute. I made this one red and white because the, um, the yarn I have is a little thin. It's not like as bulky as I want it to be. So I, 
I did it like twice. So I, I want to do it again and show you how I did it. Fuck, I have to, give me a second. I have to get a lot of this. Okay, hopefully that's enough, am I right? So double yarn makes it all the more complicated, but let me quickly show you how I do this and then I'll time lapse it. I know, look at this angle, this is super fun. Okay, so I have the double string. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, tie it around my thumb twice, just like that, holding this. Then I'm gonna, let me think, let me think. Okay, in front of pointer, behind middle, in front of ring, wrap it, wrap, back around your ring in front of your middle like this and then pull it and then hold it with your thumb so this is what it should look like when you're starting right this i fear is the hardest part once you get this it's great so then you're gonna pull and slide so you're always pulling this bottom string actually maybe this is the hardest part fuck i have to do it at like the top of my fingers because my fingers are too chubby okay this is the bottom one pull this <sighs> perfect and then once again last one perfect once it's like this you're gonna wrap this around your three fingers again hold with your pinky pull up pull up pull up good and we'll do it one more time just to be safe all right pull up pull up All right, once you've done it about three times, you can take this extra string. This is just like the tail. You can pull this, oh, don't let go of that. Pull this nice and tight to make sure it's good and tight. And then basically you just are gonna keep going around and pulling these up until you have a chain long enough that can reach bow length. Make sense everyone? Okay, I've made this pretty much what I think is gonna be long enough. So here's how to end it, okay? So you're gonna take the ending, cut it, wrap it around again. You're gonna go up through these first fingers. Noise. You're gonna go down the middle one. Noise once again, and then up the last one. Don't mind my shaking, guys, it's just a tremor. All right, once you get it like that, you can slip your fingers out and pull tight. Wow, and just like that, we have another string. And, you know, tie it in a bow. Oh my gosh, and then it attaches like this. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, so I think I wanna keep doing white and then like this mixed pattern and then white and then go back and forth like this. Okay guys, after many hours and my fingers literally aching, I have it kind of done. Well, at least done for today. So here it is, she's pretty. It's a little too long for me even to hold up, but it's so nice. So yeah, if you just have like yarn sitting around your house, this is like a, a very, I don't know why I'm spinning. This is like a very cute and easy way to make Christmas decorations or just like decorations in general if I made it like any other color. That's all I have. Thank you so much for helping me set up Christmas in my apartment and I'll see you next time.